this is this programming is uh, the deprogramming program we have here is um, of, of the utmost importance. <clears throat> we can't be misled by false interpretations of scriptures or um, narratives or words. We need to know factually what the originals were saying um, because these are key elements within our spiritual walk. And just like one of the most important ones is that, um, you know, like when Yeshua came up out of the water and then the, it said that the, the, uh, a focusing light came down upon him and uh, with the brightness of a dove, but then they changed it from a focusing light uh, and, uh, and just a dove came down. But it, it wasn't a dove came, coming down. It was a light. This, the clouds parted. A, a beam of light came. If you can just picture him, everybody on the shore, he's the only one in the water. He just come up out of the water and then a focusing light. The clouds part a window and a focusing bright white beam of light focuses directly on him like he's on the stage. And then a voice comes down from above and says, this is my only love seed. Hear him. You see, not my beloved. What does beloved mean? Like, oh, my my cushy cushy, you know? No, it's my only love, my only loved seed. We yeah. talk about seed line. Everybody's debating what the seed line is and they don't get it. They talk about a black guy or a white guy or a serpent or, you know, and, and they, and they're, uh, or, or that Satan had sex with Eve, you know, all of these bizarre ideas. Um, and yet it is, there's only two seed lines. Those who are in the fall. That's everybody. No exclusion. And then one who was the perfect creation, the first who made all things, all power was given unto him and, um, and rose from the dead, came back, not coming back. He's here right now, and he is the perfect seed. He is the only love seed, and so the only way you can also be only loved is to be in him, in a covenant relationship, and go through the waters of purification and, uh, and rise again. And uh, so, so, yeah. So these are the things that are not conveyed cor correctly, and therefore people uh, have part truth, and then they have part disinformation, non-truth. Well, what's been edited, you know, the, what's been removed, not that it's a lie, but they just simply remove part of the element, right? Remove part of the element yeah. so you can't get it right. And uh... Okay, so what you just heard there was um, a little piece from Forbidden History Live, uh, spoken by Desert Owl during one of uh, my live call-ins. <laughs> <laughs> I, I call I call often <laughs> um, anyway I thought it was really beautiful and and pure truth um, from the heart so that's that's an example of truth um, just keep in mind uh, when he said Yeshua is here um, he's not coming back because he's already here he doesn't have to come back um, we're not waiting for a second coming um, he's here with us uh, and also keep in mind um, the description uh, of him rising out of the water with the light shining down on him and check this out okay so this is a perfect example of a lie this is how they're fooling everybody, um, making people uh, think that they have to look towards the sky to look for signs um, of a second coming. This is the deception. Um, and I'll just show you a little bit of evidence because I'm, I'm keeping this short. This is my sky. Very similar shape there. I see the same repeating patterns across the planet. They have a template up there, ready to go. Um, they um, use frequencies and different clouds and different colors and pretty lights and holograms, but it's always the same repeating shapes all over the sky, all over the world. Um, it's all set up and ready to go. So this is a lie what desert said at the start is pure and true okay and i just thought this was cool because it shows it perfectly we've got the wi-fi signal 
sky screen in the background, sky TV screen, and a fake UFO. Um, yeah, really cool picture, I thought. Anyway, um, if you um, really want to know the truth uh, and you won't hear this anywhere else, um, please tune in to the Forbidden History Chronicles on my channel every Monday and every Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time US, US uh, which is midnight Mondays and Fridays, Eastern Standard Time, Aussie Time. Um, also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Forbidden History Live and the Forbidden History Series YouTube channel. Um, Desert's currently broadcasting on Forbidden History Live and the Forbidden History Series is his old channel. Um, they're both brilliant. Um, nobody else is talking about this. This is what they did not want us to know. Um, there is so much confusion out there and and um, this is the only place uh, where you can see all the dots connecting. Um, you can see the big picture, you can see the truth and you can get right with Yeshua. Um, you can see how they how they uh, deceived us. From the start by switching our words um, and yeah uh, nobody else is talking about this so please tune in i uh, hope to see you there all right be safe see yous